we've been talking about different parts of that chapter on method. We have talked about research design. That's the first part you would talk about in that section on method. Secondly, we have talked about participants. And in participants, then you will talk about your population, your sample uh, size and sampling techniques. We have talked about different techniques or different methods of data collection for a qualitative research. We talked about questionnaire, interview, focus group discussions and observation. Now, in this lecture, lecture 9, we talk about instruments. Every method of data collection has its own method, its own instrument of data collection. So, when we talk about instruments, we are not talking about just hardware stuff like a tape recorder, uh, a laptop, pen and papers. We are talking about things like questionnaire, interview guide or focus group discussion guide. Now let us explore that in detail. So if you're using a questionnaire as a method of data collection, then the instrument would be questionnaire. If you're using interview, then really technically the instrument for interview method of data collection is interview guide. Let us not mix up questionnaires and interview guides. A lot of students do that. Questionnaires are used for the method of questionnaire, whereas interview guide is used for interviews. Focus group discussion guide is used for focus group discussions. And you also need to have an observation guide when you go to observe an event or a phenomenon. Let's talk about questionnaire as an instrument. Questionnaires for quantitative methods are quite different from questionnaires for qualitative methods. The main difference is that quantitative methods questionnaire would have closed questions where people are ticking or circling numbers in what we call a Likert scale. But in qualitative methods of data collection using questionnaires, you need to have open-ended questionnaire. Let us take an example. Let us say you ask the participant, did you feel happy on the day of your wedding? Which means you have already suggested the feeling that they are supposed to have. And they are expected to tick whether yes or no. So what do you get? You get closed questions here. And you can only count the number of yeses and number of noes. And you will end up with uh, numeral data. And that is quantitative method of data collection. Whereas in qualitative method, you want to know experience and perceptions. And therefore, you need to ask open-ended questions. So rather than asking, did you feel happy on the day of your wedding? You would say, how did you feel on the day of your wedding? If they are writing it by themselves, then you would give sufficient space for them to express themselves. Open-ended questions. And now there are a few things to be kept in mind as we develop questions for uh, qualitative questionnaires. The language that we use, the vocabulary that we use in a questionnaire should be corresponding to the level of education of our participants. Secondly, uh, you need to really ask uh, questions that are sensitive to people. You cannot ask two questions in one. What did you think and what did you feel on the day of your wedding? Now that would amount to two questions in one and people might end up mixing up their answers and then it becomes difficult for you to really handle the data and to analyze. So two subjects in one question, separate them into two questions. I think those are sufficient for now about questionnaires. Let's talk about interview guide. Depending on the method of interview, if we have talked about four methods of interview, we talked about structured interview, semi-structured interview, conversation, and in-depth semi-structured interview. Now the instrument should correspond to the specific method of interview that you're using. If you're using structured interview, your interview guide is almost looking like a questionnaire because you have a lot of questions and you go one by one in the interview structured. 
If you're talking about semi-structured interview, then you have a semi-structured interview guide whereby you have a set of questions like say five questions, six questions, ten questions. In my experience about five questions would have a data for 15 minutes of conversation. Now if you're going for one hour of interview, surely you need to have more questions, semi-structured interview, sort of main questions, but the probing questions are not foreseen in the semi-structured interview that would be led by what the participant is actually saying. In conversations, you don't have actually an instrument. You just have a topic to talk about right at the beginning. And you introduce a topic after talking about whatever issues and then uh, people you lead go by what the participant is saying. In an in-depth semi-structured interview, you need to already put down your probing questions. And so the interview guide in a semi-structured, in-depth interview has main questions, a set of main questions, and corresponding to each of these main questions, you have a set of probing questions. And that is all prepared so that your interview really becomes in-depth. Now, a lot of students who choose observation as their method of data collection simply say, I did observation and these are the results. No, there has to be something in between, instrument. So you need to go prepared to find data in observation. What are you going to observe? What are you going to hear? What are you going to see? And it is not only seeing people, you might want to see the setting, for example. You might want to observe uh, the feelings that are expressed in nonverbal communication in the group. So when you go prepared with an observation guide, you are likely to get more data out of observation than just going impromptu to observe. And finally, you just give general opinions and not details out of an observation. And finally, focus group discussion guide. Focus group discussions use focus group discussion guide. You have a set of questions that you are going to ask your participants and encourage discussion on those uh, topics or those questions. They are almost like the interview guide. The difference between interview and focus group discussion, as it is also in the instrument, is that more in focus group discussion, you will be led by the dynamics of the discussion. There could be opposing views. There could be a sort of patterns emerging in the discussion. And you are going to be very alert to these uh, sensibilities that are emerging in the discussion among your participants. So, what is the uh, moral of the story? You need to have an instrument, a guide to gather data, whatever method of data collection that you're using in qualitative method of data collection.